Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Seth from Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds, and this week we are playing Infinite Teferi Combo, you probably remember this one, I did a short about the combo, and then it was on the Against the Odds poll last week, people voted for it, so we are trying to see if we can go Infinite with Teferi who slows the sunset to Fairy, Lithoform Engine, and a Mana Dorkin Standard. So let's talk about what this ridiculous deck is trying to do. Jump into some games, see if it's possible to go infinite with Teferi who slows the sunset in our new standard format. So first off, combo piece number one, Teferi who slows the sunset. Not a very good Planeswalker, but it is a Planeswalker that can let us go infinite with Lithoform Engine. The main goal of our deck is to get Teferi on the battlefield alongside Lithoform Engine. We can plus one Teferi targeting Lithoform Engine, a land in a man a dork, and then if we have two mana available, we can copy the Teferi trigger while it's on the stack, and then the copy trigger is going to target Lithoform Engine, Mana Dork, and Land. We can tap the Mana Dork and the Land to make two mana to pay for Lithoform Engine. This by itself, with a random Mana Dork like Tangled Flora Heater or Katilda, gives us infinite life, because Teferi's plus one also gains us two life. So that's step one. The combo gets even more spectacular, though, if our Mana Dork is Accomplished Alchemist, which makes mana equal to the amount of life we've gained during the turn. So each time we go through the loop, since we're gaining two life with Teferi's plus one trigger, we're making more mana with Accomplished Alchemist, which is giving us infinite mana of any combination of colors. And then as far as winning the game with this infinite mana, we got a few plans. Uh, Katilda, we can activate an infinite number of times to make our team infinitely big. After we get a ton of mana floating, we can start untapping Katilda, add counters to everything for six mana, do it again. We can use Cayenne to make infinite number of fractal tokens. We can use Triska Decafile to draw our entire deck until we find a wish. We can use wish to tutor crackle with power from our sideboard crackle with power for like a million damage at our opponent's face we also have an Elrond's epiphany in our sideboard not because we need an extra turn to actually combo we want to win right away with the combo Elrond's epiphany is in the sideboard for one reason which is the arena clock there's some risk that we try to combo off and run out of time and being able to grab epiphany lets us essentially just reset the clock on arena and try again on the next turn if we can't get enough mana for crackle with power otherwise memory deluge finds our combo Skyclave Doomscar keeps us alive. A bunch of lands to cast our stuff. The mana base pretty wild since we're technically four colors. In the sideboard, outside of our tutor targets, we get some counters. We get Redain, which is good against some control decks and also good against Scoot Swarms. Some more removal, some life gain, a pithy needle for Planeswalkers. And that is Infinite to Fairy Combo. And that's our Against the Odds for this week. So what are the odds of this working out? Let's jump into some games and find out. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit with the wrap up. Need some new Innistrad Midnight Hunt cards? Well, you can order them now from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com. Uh Against the odds time. We are trying to go infinite with Teferi who slows the sunset in new standard. And uh, yeah, I mean, this hand's not bad. We got Teferi, we got Lithoform Engine. Those are two of our combo. Ooh, Bard class, all right. That is a bit frightening. Uh, Let's play Seagate Restoration. So we can play Cayenne into Lithoform Engine. We still need a Mana Dork. And we also need to uh, not die, obviously. Is our opponent have free stuff? Yeah, Trognar. Hell, that is an alchemist. Play Cayenne. Pass the turn. Oh, are we going to be fast enough? That is the question. Are we going to be fast enough? Opponent. Azika goes to combat, hits us. No blocks. Oh, Magda. That's a fast start. That's a fast start. Play the land. Play Accomplished Alchemist. Pass the turn. Opponent's going off with like two lands. Ah, oh, Wrath would have been nice. Skyclave, you were to Bard class. There's things that would be good here. We haven't found them yet, but opponent actually has a lot of mana because of this Azika and this Magda. Attacks, attacks. I think we actually just take it. I don't really want to risk Accomplish Alchemist. We are pretty close to comboing off. We got to survive two turns with our board intact, and then we get to go infinite. All right, opponent's leveling up. Well, Cayenne. Exile. Oh, one, two, uh, yeah, Lithform Engine. Land, go. All right, that's it. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if our opponent can kill us. They get to draw cards as they cast Legends. They have the fully leveled up bar class. They had to land off the top, which they would have found anyway. Another bar class, that's okay. I guess it's more of a reduction, but I mean, if we untap here with our board, we win. We go infinite. 
Okay, opponent gets in. Four, eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh, we don't have a finisher though. Well, let's block with Cayenne. Activate Cayenne. Yeah. Go to five. See what our opponent can do. One, two, three, four, five mana. Legends two off. Cast them. Draw two cards for this turn. Oh! Opponent has a blizzard brawl to ruin our plans and that is very likely game now. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, yeah, fair enough. Wow, that was brutal. Well, Vanquish the Horde in. Uh, maybe Fateful Absence. Oh, that was so brutal. Maybe go down a Catilda, a Memory Deluge, and a Triskaidekaphile. I'll run it like that. Oh, no. Oh, we were, oh, I thought we were gonna do it. We had everything. Well, okay. The thing I like about this hand is the Doom Scar. We're not close to comboing, but as someone who's played my share of Bard class decks, they are very dependent on having literal actual Bard class. If you don't have Bard class, your deck does a lot of nothing and is pretty bad. We'll see, I mean, our opponent definitely could have the Bard class, which is disappointing, but we'll see. Trisgadak, if I'll go about it. Tap land. Well, land on blue, unfortunately. Our janky mana is coming to punish us a bit here. Doomscar, go. Or is for our opponent, Jorn. All right, well, uh, apparently we are not going to draw lands, which is less than optimal. Varus, about it. Well, I mean, they get to attack and untap all their lands, which is kind of good for them. Sure, no blocks. Do we draw land ever? Corvole ventures into a dungeon. Sure. What we would give for land? Nope. All right, well, we will foretell and, well, this is probably the end now. Wow. Huh. Well, sometimes you draw the land, sometimes you don't, and this appears to be a don't opponent. Going to make a treasure token. Play a mountain. Magda. All right, well, untap white source. That is, that is everything. Untap white source or we lose. Magic gods, if you ever want to be good to us, give us that white source. All right. Untap white source, Doomscar. Sweep your board. About it. Land. Burn down the house to make some devils goes attacking. Well, we will Doomscar. Kill the devils. Opponents empty-handed. Pings us down to five. What do they find? Oh my God. Wow. That is a insanely good draw for our opponent. I think that's a draw that actually is just going to beat us, unfortunately. Oh my goodness. Well, play accomplished, Alchemist. Wow! Oh, you could see how missing the land for those two turns was a was a pretty big deal. About it, and then our opponent finally running them out of cards and them uh, top decking Azika's chariot also less than optimal, I would say. Well, we block. Stay at five. Oh, we got a shot. We got a shot. Lithoform engine. Oh, but we can't play, okay. All right, we gotta draw land, I think. We gotta draw a land or we don't have the mana. We need to untap land. And we get to comp, if we just barely lose this again, I'm gonna be so sad, put it. Azika's chariot, goes to combat, attacks with both, makes a cat, we block the chariot, we drop to three, land, land, untapped. Oh, overgrown farmland, okay, play it, play. Teferi who slows the sunset. We got there. Teferi. Untap, untap, untap. Lithoform engine. Copy it. Untap, untap, untap. Add some blue mana. Copy it. Oh, oh almost too slow, but we got there. Untap, untap, untap. Tap this for blue mana. Copy it. Infinite life, 
infinite mana, and we got the wish in hand, so we actually get to go the whole way. Tap this for red mana. We're almost there. We're gonna get there. Copy it. Untap, untap, untap. Tap this for red mana. Need a little bit more. Copy it. Untap, untap, untap. Oh man, it's happening. It's happening. Tap it for red. I think we need one more after this. Untap, 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 untap. Tap this for red. Last one. Copy to fairy. Untap, untap, untap. Sure. Tap this for red. Wish. Craggle for power. Got him. We got him. How about X10? And uh, yeah. <laughs> It's a combo! Wow. I thought our opponent was going to steal with that Azekas Chariot or with us missing lands, but we got there in the end just barely. Okay, so it is possible to combo. Is it worth Pithing Needle on Bard class? It might be. It probably is, honestly. Let's go down one more Cayenne and run it like that. Since we have so many Wraths now, we probably want to minimize our number of creatures. Well, I mean, that's how, that's how you combo. <laughs> we even had the finish of Crackle for power. And eh, we're gonna keep this. Yeah, let's play farmland. I'm not sure. We'll see what we draw. If we draw land, all right, we don't. Let's just play Floral Hedrid. Go. Opponent, Tovalar. Well, play the land. Kill the Tovalar. Pass the turn. Upload it. Azika's Chariot. That is a good one. Uh, well, play the land. Lithiform Engine. We really need a Skyclave to get rid of this Azika's Chariot, because this Azika's Chariot's kind of going off. Upload it. Fires it up. Azika's Chariot, definitely one of the best cards in, uh, in Standard. Hits us. Makes a cat down to 16. Well, play Seagate Reborn. I'm gonna play Ibrahim. <laughs> Dean of Theory. All right, your go about it. Cracks the clue to draw a card, adapts. There's a Bard class. Levels up the Bard class. Land, that's a good draw for our opponent. Magda, and turns on Azika's Chariot. As yes, Azika's Chariot is causing us, we have answers for it. We have many answers for it. We just, that was a weird choice. Oh, that was an attack? Okay. Oh, kill a cat. Drop to 10. Play the land. Oh, so we can Wrath, but it's not even that good. Ibrahim X1, draw a card. Land, vanquish the horde. Not sure this saves us though, because the chariot survives and our opponent found the bard class. Opponent levels up the bard class. We need a way to get rid of this. Azika. Exile some. Oh my goodness, it's free spell. Okay. Oh, they. Sp oh, I think that's the one card in standard that you can cast for literally free. Ouch. And that lets our opponent crew Azika's Chariot, and that uh, that looks like the death of us. Mogged off the Chariot. I don't cast a Doomscar. Although, I'm not convinced it matters anymore. This is Azika's Chariot. We haven't been able to find the Skyclave, and our opponent is just, uh, opponent found the Bard class, and we did not find the answer to the Bard class. Burn down the house to make some devils. Plays a land. Opponent passes. Well, memory deluge. Accomplish alchemist, land. Land on whatever. Accomplish alchemist, maybe. Maybe there's hope. Maybe there's hope. Maybe there's hope. We have two of the combo pieces. Does our opponent have removal? What do they have? Land, opponent, passes. Oh, Teferi slows the set set. Infinite, infinite, make a mana. Oh, we got there. Untap, untap, unless our opponent has instant speed removal, untap, copy it. Untap, 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 copy it. Oh, we forgot to, oops, untap, untap. We forgot to float mana, make red. Un oh my goodness, we're gonna win this. We're gonna win, untap, untap, untap. Oh my goodness, it's happening. 
Copy. We're gonna win the match. I thought we were so dead. Untap, untap, untap. Make red. Copy. Untap, untap, untap. Make some red. We even got the wish it had. Copy. Untap, untap, untap. Make red. One more. Copy. Untap, untap, untap. Make red. Untap, make red. Wish. Oh, oh, it's a combo kill. It's a combo kill. Crackle for power. Grab it. X15. One, two. Actually, you should probably not hit the devils. I guess it doesn't matter. Smack ya. Devils too. Oh, 70 to the face. <laughs> We did it! Wow, that worked. That was a scary matchup, but we got there, and that was that was actually sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, well, it's possible a combo. We learned that at least. Against the odds, time we are trying to go infinite with a fairy who slows the sunset in standard and. We will see, we will see. We need a lot of pieces, but if we can get it to come together, it should be sweet. Schwamp for our opponent, Shambling Ghast. All right, some sort of, some sort of sack deck. This hand actually looks pretty decent against what our opponent's doing. The two Skyclaves are nice. Opponent gets in, hits us. Um, hmm. Let's see, so we play this on blue, this on white, this on green. Probably don't want a Katilda yet. Yeah, let's just play this on blue and Doomscar. Ship the turn. All right, well, good thing we didn't play Katilda. Would've got killed by the shambling gas opponent. Gonna make some treasures. I guess Lolth would be annoying since we can't Skyclave it. That would actually be the probably the worst thing for us. All right, more deadly disputes, sure. And a land. And an eye twitch. Opponent oh, passes. Uh, play this on white. Skyclave the eye twitch. Ship the turn. Skullport emergent. Opponent oh, passes. Uh, well, hmm. Uh, yeah, let's get down with the form engine. No attack. So combo piece one. We do have mana dorks. We don't have uh, alchemist yet. Oh boy, that's a, that's a problem. That's a problem. Skyclave does not deal with Professor Onyx. Yeah, not sure what we're gonna do about this Professor Onyx issue. Bone it. Well, yeah, it draws a card. Well, Skyclave Apparition. Get the Skullport merge. I guess our only slightly realistic shot is to try to attack it down, but ugh, that's not likely. About it. Land. Yeah, this treasure ramp really paid off for our opponent. Ha. Huh. <laughs> All right. That is something else that we can't deal with with, with Skyclaves, and it's going to make a bunch of spiders, so we can't attack Liliana. Oh, yeah, this is not looking great. Opponent's super friendsing us at the moment. Takes down. Uh, I guess we should have attacked that, uh, sacked that one. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're kind of playing towards a wrath anyway. Shambling Ghast. Opponent passes. I'll go to combat. Attack Liliana. Opponent blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Doomscar. A lot of counters on the Lolf. <laughs> I will never understand people's use of emotes. <laughs> we cast a rat. Our opponent played like turn three Liliana or something. And, uh,. <laughs> And we play a, a single spell, and our opponent nices us. Opponent takes up Liliana. Make some spiders. Skullport merchant. Hunt for specimens. Gets a mascot exhibition. Um, yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. Play Katilda. I mean, we're actually just super dead. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what we're hoping for at this point. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just actually gonna concede. There's n there's just no way we beat these two planeswalkers. We don't have the mana, we don't have the combo pieces. There's just there's no way. So pithing needle in. Awkwardly 
Disdainful strokes in? Negates in? Ugh, not exciting because that doesn't stop our opponent from just playing their random dorks. But yeah, all right, bring in, bring in four counters. Do a bit of trimming, run it like that. Well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, we can't let the Planeswalkers resolve. That treasure ramp start was pretty impressive. The double treasure off the Shambling Gas sacrifice. Got down that Liliana super quick. Well, no lands, no keep. One, oh boy, this hand's not good. All right, well, I mean, I think we gotta keep it because going to uh, going to five does not seem likely to work out. Land, go, about it. Schwamp, Shambling Gast. Uh, well, land on blue. Triscadecophile. Lands, please? We really need many lands, opponent. Velky. I mean, we can't really cast any of our creatures anyway, so. Passes. Not a, oh boy. All right, this draw, this game has just not worked out. We have run, well, I mean, we're a deck that's built around a combo that's four, three different four drops, two of them legendary, so. I guess some some amount of clunky draws are just kind of priced into the archetype. What we really want is Mana Dork on two, four drop on three, but it doesn't always work out that way. Opponent plays a land, passes. Not a land. Well, we will continue to pass. I think we're to the point where we got to be leaving up counters now, unfortunately. We'd love to be able to memory deluge, but boon it. At least the Triscodecophile's sort of holding down the ground. Opponent gets an accomplished alchemist. Passes. Land, please. No. Four drop. <laughs> oh, so many fours. So many fours. About it. Schwamp. Skullport Merchant. Gonna get some card draw going. Goes to combat. That's yeah, not looking good. Not looking good. Passes land, no, four drop. <laughs> oh, not like this magic gods, come on now. About it. Sex the shambling gas gets a treasure. Draws a card. Untaps. <laughs> oh boy, the draws in this game have been so bad. Meat hook masker X3. Disdainful stroke it. Opponent. Sedgemore witch. Shambling Gast. Passes. Not a land. Actually, nothing we can even cast past the turn. <laughs> Hunt for specimens. Um, I don't know. We're gonna negate this. I don't even know. I think we're just done. I think we're just done here. Like, we just haven't been able to cast anything. Lolf. Sure. Death. Red On to the next one. Sometimes you play magic, sometimes you don't. That was a don't. Against the odds time, we are trying to go infinite with Teferi who slows the sunset in new standard. And we're gonna keep this. Uh, gonna need white mana at some point. Yeah, all right, this works. Uh, land and Catilda. Go. So we got Teferi, we got a mana dork. Gonna need a Lithoform engine. Reading Catilda. Killing Catilda. Well, Tangled Florahedron and land on blue. Go. Appears to be playing a control deck. I assume control's probably a hard matchup just because gonna be our do uh, stick our combo pieces. Opponent. Pathway passes. We draw a Doom Scar. Well, play the land on blue. To fairy. Opponent. Wow. Main deck negating it. All right. Well, yeah, we're, <laughs> that's kind of what we mentioned. Control's probably tough and <laughs> main deck negate control, doubly tough, I assume. Expressive iteration for our opponent. Gonna draw a bunch of cards. Uh-huh. It's a land, plays the land. Our hand is pretty dead at the moment. Well, play Tangled Floral Hedron. Play Triscodecophile. Pass the turn. Oh, I guess we might as well foretell this. Not doing anything else, pass the turn. Opponent. Hmm, more removal. Are we going to untap and play Goldspan Dragon? About it, thinking, still thinking. Untaps and plays Goldspan Dragon. Yeah, well, white mana. Go attacking, hit you for one. Doomscar. Yeah, Goldspan, that is a heck of a magic card. Gonna draw some cards. Yeah, without anything on the battlefield, it's gonna be very difficult to get this combo set up. Opponent. 
Plays a land. Plays a smoldering egg. Well, we will memory deluge. Memory deluge is good. I don't know if it actually matters here. <laughs> Jeez, um. All right, found it. So apparently our opponent's playing a play set of negates in the main deck. No fear of running into a mono green or mono white or, well, maybe they're just taking the L's to uh, to those decks. Bone it. Inferno of Star Mounds gets in. Yeah, that does it. Sure. So, well, I mean, I guess the technique is just play every negate and play every every dragon and trust that that'll be enough. It was, it was enough that time. Uh, all right, so I guess we bring in a couple of counters. Uh, probably get on Skyclave, which apparently doesn't uh, doesn't hit anything in our opponent's deck and run in like that. Yeah, this is a, this is a tough one. All right, on to game number two. We are on the play and, well, the disdainful strokes are good. At least the disdainful strokes can uh, can stop some of the the crazy dragons that uh, we are going to need to stop to have a shot in this game. All right, opponent has kept their hand. Amiria, go. Land passes. Well, all right, pathway. Triska decophile. Kind of hilarious that somehow we're playing Triska decophile twice in a row. This isn't a Triska decophile deck, but. It's repeatable card draw. We don't really have any realistic shot of winning with Triska Decafile in this deck, but uh, it is a uh, one of the only uh, very few creatures in standard that gives us a infinite mana sink that can actually win the game. Like Triska Decafile draws our deck to find the wish, to find the crack wood power. All right, opponent, land reveals a dragon. Well, play a land, smack you for one. Opponent it, down to 18. And Prismari command, sure. Opponent untaps. So I assume they're trying to ramp into a dragon, but we do have the answer. All right, there is the gold span. Well, the same full stroke. Well, dragon one dealt with. <laughs> Pona says nice. Pona negated all of our spells main deck last game. I don't want to. I don't want to hear that nice. I don't want to hear that nice out of you, Mergsy. <laughs> Uh, all right, land go, about it. Land, Morgan, oh boy. If they thought the first one is nice. <laughs> Disdainful stroke. Opponent, come on, where is it? There we go, there's the nice. <laughs> well, run out to fairy. Take down. So we're still quite a ways away from actually being able to combo. We need... I mean, we have the alchemist in hand, but we need to get on the battlefield and have it survive. We need the Teferi to survive hasty dragons. And then, last but not least, we need a, uh, we need Lothiform Edge. All right, Teferi down. Well, maybe we have made it past the dragons at least. That would be helpful. All right, foretells, probably an epiphany. Well, get down the alchemist. Hit you for one. Maybe we just get the, the ultra jank beatdown win. About it out of 15. All right, behold the multiverse. Well, at least that's not an epiphany. I think we're going to counter that. Our opponent pretty clearly has nothing good going on at the moment. So I think <laughs> there's a nice again. So I think uh, I think normally countering card draw is not ideal. But in this case, letting our opponent go four cards deep to find dragons seems really or epiphanies. They just have so many busted cards. I think keeping them from card filtering is probably worth it. Ooh. All right. Memory Deluge is good. That is our easiest way to find combo pieces. All right, opponent has a negate. Nice. And, uh, yeah, get him with Triska Decafile. We still got the manager to draw with Triska Decafile, which is something. It would be pretty crazy if we could actually pull this off against the control deck. I feel like control is probably one of our tougher matchups to pull this off. They just got so many removal and so many counters. Wait, was that nice to a Triska Decafile draw? Maybe our opponent's just addicted to the nice emo. All right, land on green. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Hit him for one. And I think, yeah, now we're going to deluge. If they counter it, at least it's on their turn. Oh, no Teferi. All right, well, we get the Lithophore Magic. We get another deluge. We're a Teferi away, and we even got the wish in hand. The wish to find the Cracklewood power and win the game. Galazeth, well, out of all the dragons our opponent can have drawn, that is probably the least scary. All right, Crippling Fear. So there goes Triskaidekaphile. Thankfully, Alchemist has a big butt. Uh, more lands. Well, get down the Lithoform engine. 
Memory deluge. See if we can find a fairy. Ugh. All right. Well, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We'll take the deluge. And I guess we just take another wish. We could, with both wishes, we could use one just for value and, I don't know, get a removal spell or something. Opponent. All the storm giants. That is a land that's a threat. Oh, come on, Teferi. We're so close. We just gotta hit the Teferi and we go infinite, fully infinite. Opponent is shields down. They don't have an it. Come on, magic gods. Come on, magic gods. Land. Well, deluge. Four cards deep. Is there a Teferi? No. Take a Katilda, take a Cayenne, I guess. Uh, now what? Play the land. Yeah, let's let's wish away this Galazeth. We are kind of, uh, actually, no, no, no. That's a, <laughs> wish only let you play it this turn. We probably should not, we should probably not copy that. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a punt. Uh, we we dodged it. Let's just get the Skyclave. Get rid of the Galazeth, I think. I don't think anything else matters. So yeah, get a get a Skyclave. Play the Skyclave. Now at least if our opponent wants to damage us, they're going to have to spend all their mana or most of it on this Hall of the Storm Giants. The other good news with all these memory deluges is we put a lot of non-Teferi cards to the bottom. So the odds of us finding a Teferi are going up every deluge that we that we cast. Because we've, we've put, what, like 12 cards to the bottom, 10 cards to the bottom. Some pretty high number of cards is officially at the bottom. Well, Elrond's Epiphany, I never want to see an Elrond's Epiphany from the opponent, but this is about is bad as an epiphany can be like the board is empty it's pretty much an explorer that makes two tokens opponent gets in gonna hit us for a lot we are on a clock or we're gonna have to start chumping with creatures which is a uh, awkward down to eight triscadecophile oh well deluge seven cards deep this time can we find a very Oh, thank goodness. All right. There's a very this means I think we got to live one more turn. One, two, three, yeah. Not enough mana to go infinite yet. Yeah, we're like a mana short. So I think we just run out a bunch of creatures so we can block and then plan on going infinite next turn. Hopefully our opponent does not top deck a counter. Oh, smoldering egg. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's happening. All the storm giants. Sure. We can chump it with something. And now we get to do what we set out to do. It is time to go infinite. Block. Hall of the Storm Giants, take our beats, down to six, does it matter? We're about to gain infinite life anyway. Untap, to fairy who slows the sunset and starts the combo. So first, make a mana, activate. Oh, I'm always worried I'm gonna miss click on this combo. All right, untap, untap, untap. And then Lithoform Engine, copy it. Untap, untap, untap. Triggers on the stack. Copy it. Oh, we got a. We got float mana though. All right. Yep. Float the mana. Untap. New trigger. Untap. 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 And I think we should just yeah, just alchemist first. I think it's gonna make it faster. Copy the trigger. So we don't have to go that far here, really. We have the wish in hand, so we don't have to try to draw our deck with Triskaidekaphile. So we just have to get enough mana that we can wish for Crackle with power, and Crackle uh for power for lethal. All right, untap, untap, untap. Up to eight mana per activation of Alchemist. Copy the draw. Oh, we did it. I can't believe we did it in this matchup. Out of all the matchups where we'd pull off this combo, the deck with the main deck negates and Elrond's Epiphanies and Gold's Band Dragons, uh, one of the, the least likely, I would say. <laughs> but we did it. We did do it. 18, eh, 30. Yeah, I think we're good. We can tap it one more time. Yeah, 40, 46 mana is more than enough. So wish, crackle for power, crackle for power. No, let's go, let's go X10, that should be enough. <laughs> Five times 10, 50 damage to everything and <sighs> yes, yes, it happened, okay. Oh, that was a full combo. That was a full combo and it actually worked. Okay. I mean, that's that's what we wanted to do. That that was a plan. That was hopes. That was the dreams. And we actually ended up getting there. Oh my goodness. All right. 
All right, all right, all right. Even against a control deck, through the removal, through the counters, all of our nice sideboard counters uh, came through apparently. <laughs> we'll take it. We will take it. All right, we're on the draw. Game number two, trying to go infinite with Teferi one more time to win the match. All right, all right. I mean, we're gonna keep this. We got a bunch of combo pieces. That's that's good. Combo pieces are good. About it. Dresses us. Uh, well, land on blue. Go. Opponent. Den of the bugbear and Hortels. Hmm. Most likely Elrond's Epiphany. Well, land on white. Go. Opponent. Oh boy, that's a that's a whole heap of lithoform engines. <laughs> Ooh, there's a downside to having your uh, your combo pieces be legendary, and we're seeing that right now with oh my god, lithoform engine. Opponent dresses. Well, we might as well negate because we're losing it anyway. There's no way they take one of our infinite lithoform engines, so we save a little bit of information. Opponent land. Well, we will play a land and play a Lithoform engine. Pass the turn, but we have no dragon defense. In the last game, the way we stated it was all of those disdainful strokes, and we do not have disdainful strokes this time. Passes. Well, land. Go. Opponent attacks. Opponent passes. Land. Go. Opponent untap. I assume once they draw land, we're getting smashed by gold spans a lot. Land. Go. We're going to try to wait until we draw one more land and then we can copy the accomplished alchemist. And that gets around counters. All right. Opponent's going to go dig in for lands. Draw some cards. So things are about to get bad. We know things are about to get bad. Opponent does find the land. Five mana and six mana. That's where the dragons start. And the Elrond. Uh, yeah, reveals a gold span. Well, play a land. Accomplished Alchemist. I want to copy it, but if we copy it and then they counter it, it fizzles. Yeah, we're going to copy it. We've seen mostly negates out of our opponent's deck, considering the possibilities. All right. Well, here comes the uh, Alchemist. Probably some removal in hand. Still need to find Teferi. That is a piece we are currently missing. Many, many, many Lithoform engines, not many Teferis. All right, opponent reveals an even bigger dragon. Ugh. All right, lots of removals. Uh, Well, we will foretell, I guess. Pass the turn. About it. Kills us. Smoldering egg. Wow, this is a... Uh, Slightly awkward, slightly awkward, I will say. No red mana, lots of the four engines. Opponent gonna foretell Elrond's Epiphany, Memory Deluge. Disdainful Stroke counters off the egg. Well, I assume we're dead. Opponent untaps. And Galazeth Prismari. Opponent passes. We draw more lands. Well, Doomscar. Opponent counters. Well, we will copy Doomscar. Opponent untaps with a handful of busted dragons and an exile zone full of Elrond's epiphanies. Goldspan dragon goes attacking, makes a treasure. Yeah, I don't even know what the... I don't know what we can do from here. Memory Deluge. Get an Accomplished Alchemist. Get a... Memory Deluge. Man, yeah, Triska I mean, there's not even any sense in bluffing. We're just super... I think we're just literally dead here. Four, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus six. Sixteen. Yeah, we're just dead. We're, like, literally dead on board to Inferno of Star Mounts. We could have not played anything and bluffed, but we got him in, uh, in game, uh, in game two. We got to see the full combo right down to the wish. So, it's possible. Against the odds time, we are trying to combo off with the fairy in new standard. And, uh, well, we got the Lithoform Engine and the Alchemist. This hand could, could do it. We'll see. Swamp for our opponent. Shambling Ghast. Well, tap land. Go. Upload it. Snow covered plants. Gets and hits us. Shambling Ghast. 
Oh, that is another combo piece. Um, oh, farmland. Skyclave aghast. Well, we'll see. I mean, if we can somehow resolve our stuff and have it stick, the big question is gonna be, can they kill the accomplished alchemist, I think? Opponent, land. Goes attacking, no blocks. Well, land and accomplished alchemist. No attacks. Please, no removal. We need two more turns, I think. L uh, opponent, snow cover planes. Skullport merchant, okay. Uh, has the vanishing verse. Opponent goes attacking, no blocks. Uh, Teferi, well, we will play Lithoform Engine. Pathway on blue. Past the turd. Oh, we just need so many pieces to stick. It becomes tricky. Oh, <laughs> Lisa. Opponent goes attacking. We take a lot. Down to 10. Tangled Floral Hedron. Tangled Floral Hedron. No attacks. Well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see about it. What do you got? Loyal Warhound, one card in hand. I mean, so right, okay. Well, we get to gain infinite life or as much life as possible. Opponent hits us. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll take eight. Well, we'll see. See how much life we can gain before we run out of time. Play Teferi. Land on blue. Teferi. Untap, untap, untap. Copy it. Untap, untap, untap. Copy it. Untap, untap, untap. Copy it. <laughs> untap, untap, untap. The problem is infinite isn't really infinite on Magic Arena because you run out of time, I believe. We'll see. I mean, we are making actions. Untap, tap, tap, untap. <laughs> Untap, 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 tap, tap, copy, <laughs> untap. This is why we needed the, the alchemist. The alchemist would help here because the alchemist would let us actually make infinite mana and then we could play the second to fairy and try to draw into something to actually win, but opponent getting impatient, thinking about sacking something. Now tap, tap, untap, tap, tap, untap. <laughs> I mean, we're up to 20. So far, the clock's not going. Oh my goodness, how long do we have to do this? Until our opponent gets bored and concedes, or we get to like 100? Oh, infinite life combos are so much easier in paper. In paper right now, we'd just be like, okay, we're at a, a billion or something. Choose some ridiculously high number, and our life total would be set to it after demonstrating a loop. Digital, not a not as smooth. Well, at least the clock hasn't started yet. Maybe we can just do this forever. Probably just edit this out because I'm not sure how long you want to watch me do this. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> we did it long enough and our opponent decided to scoop. We'll take it. <laughs> it on, a, on Arena, this combo becomes a, a test of wills, I think, a test of patience. Who's willing to, who's willing to sit there the longest? And uh, I guess in that case, we were the, we were the winner. Uh, let's bring in two negates, go down a Catilda, go down a Triskaidekaphile, go up two Fateful Absences, go down one Cayenne, and one, well, let's go one more Triskaidekaphile, run it like that. All right, well, I mean, so that was a mini combo. That was not the full infinite mana wish for the win combo, but we'll accept, a, we'll accept the mini combo. Hmm. Yeah, I can't keep the one lander. Now this hand is a lot of Tangled Floral Hedrons. I guess we try this. We do have the Teferi. Um, well, Flora Hedron, go. Oh, uh, it. Schwamp. Warhouse, yeah. Well, Deserted Beach, go. Oh, uh, it. Hits us. Elite Spellbinder, yeah. So I guess we're gonna need to hit a Wrath at some point. Takes a Lithoform Engine. Well, play Catilda. Florahedron, go. Land. Skullport. Hits us. No blocks. Down to 11. Well, play the land. I think we need to try to memory deluge into a wrath, basically. I think that's the game plan here. Opponent. Swamp. More spellbinders, okay. Well, we definitely gotta hit this Wrath, and we gotta hit it this turn or else. 
Pona takes it to fairy. Combo's gonna cost a, combo's gonna cost a bit more this game. Pona goes to combat, hits us. No blocks. Well, spin it to win it. Can we find a wrath in the top four? Memory deluge. No. Well, can we draw a wrath off the top? No. Uh, and we're dead. All right. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pona kind of curved out and that got us. Maybe we bring in the Vanquish the Horde. Let's go down one Deluge. Bring in one more Wrath, because a Wrath would have been super helpful there. All right, can we win a match? We got the mini combo, outpatient them win. Can we actually win a match? And can we get the full infinite mana combo? Well, I mean, I think we keep this. This hand's not super exciting, but Triskaidekaphile can draw us cards. Skyclave can answer something. Uh, we'll play this on blue. Triskaidekaphile. Go. Yeah. About it. Land. Loyal Warhounds. Well, play the land. Skyclave Apparition. Get rid of the Warhound. Hit ya. Pass the tur. Faceless Haven. Shambling Gast. Now, play a land and... Yeah, let's get down Lithoform Engine. Pass the turn. If we can get a bit more mana, we can start. Okay, so that's gonna get rid of the form engine. Or yeah, borrowed time, interesting. Haven't seen too many borrowed times. Uh, accomplish Alchemist. Flora Hedron. I was gonna say if we get a little bit more mana, we can uh, we can start copying Triskaidek Files trigger, but not without our Lithoform engine. Bone it, land. Skullport. So we need another Lithoform and we need, and we need a Teferi. Let's draw a card. Land on white. Pass the turn. About it. Another Haven. Gotta hope they don't have something big like Liliana. We don't currently have an answer. All right, or Blood on the Snow. That's also pretty bad. Opponent blows everything up, gets back the Skullport Merchant. Gets a token, gets some treasure. Well, come on, deck. Good draw. Well, Triskaidekaphile. Florahedron. Pass the turn. We're gonna start getting beaten down by Faceless Havens though, which isn't great. Is opponent gonna cash in all their treasure for a card? They are. All right, sure. Well, that's better than them leaving their mana up and drawing three cards. About it. Untaps. Schwamp. Kaya the next, oh boy. Kaya. Goes after the Skullport. Goes to combat. Passes. Well, Triss, get a file draw a card. Play a land, play a bad Teferi. Take it down. Well, Memory Deluge is not bad. Take the Deluge, pass the turn. No attacks. Ooh, how bad is Kaya ultimating? I think it's bad, but it's not as, wow, opponent's gonna cash it in to draw a card, sure. About it. Land, soul shatters away the Teferi. Takes up on the Skullport Merchant. Faceless Haven might have been a better plan. Faceless Haven, sure. Goes to combat. Hits us. Well, let's Deluge. Take a Fateful Absence. Take a Teferi. Well, Fateful Absence at least can get rid of the Kaya, which is something. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. No attacks. Get rid of the Kaya. Well, Gotta do an upkeep so our opponent can't just draw a card easily on our turn. A bonnet, Shamla Guest. Faceless Haven. Thankfully, they can only fire up one Faceless Haven at the moment. Draws a card. Yeah, we still need to find something. Land. Combat. Hits us. Uh, we will take it down to 12. Another score, skull board. Well, Memory Deluge. Two lands. About it passes. One, two, three, one, two. How do we beat this setup? Well, let's memory deluge. Accomplished alchemist. Accomplished alchemist. Foretell doom scar. All right, well, pass the turn. The alchemists kind of help. They have a big enough butt that they can block the faceless havens. All right, spellbinder, getting worse. Although this does mean our opponent can only, uh, can only fire up a single faceless haven. So what we might be able to do here is Wrath and then Rebuild. Yeah, Faceless Haven, opponent goes to combat, big attack. Oh, we're gonna block. Drop to nine. 
Uh, Doomscar. Opponent, gun draw card. They also get back their skull pour and get a spear at. Sacks to draw a card. Oh, they get two. Wow, I didn't know you could stack those up that way. Well, Alchemist. Land on blue. Pass the turn. Yeah, opponent got to draw a lot of cards there. Another. Oh, they do it to another Kaya. And the skull port returns. An opponent counter on the skull port hits us with the flyers. Oh, we gotta find. We gotta find a way to get rid of this. What do we do? Is there anything we can wish for? We'd have to tap this, and we're down to seven. You know what? Let's wish. I think we just wish for Elrin's epiphany. This isn't our main plan, but wish for Elrin's epiphany. Play it. Play the land past the tur. Ooh. One, two, three. Wow, we're so close. So, so close. Uh, all right, how can we do this? Play Teferi. Actually, play Lithiform Engine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can go, we can go infinite, can't we? Teferi. Wow, we can just go infinite. We got there, we got there, we got there. We're gonna win the match. Unless our opponent can do something with these treasures. Teferi. Okay, full control for a minute. Untap, untap, untap. Copy. Do they have instant speed interaction? That's the question, or we got it, or we actually did it. About it, come on, come on. Opponent thinking, looking. Oh, okay. So opponent does have instant speed interaction. So I guess we gotta sack the Teferi. We will untap, untap, untap. Tap this for green. Wait, do we still get to go infinite? Oh, we do. Oh, we still get to go infinite. It works. Oh, we're still good because we still have the we still have the trigger. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Untap, 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 and we have the wish in hand. Oh, we're still gonna do it. The soul shatter does not stop us. Copy it. Untap, untap, untap. Make red. Oh, we got him. We got him. It's possible. Copy it, adapt, adapt, adapt. Make red, copy it. Adapt, 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 adapt. Red, one more, one more we got him. Copy it, untap, untap, untap. Red, let it resolve. Red, wish. Wish, crackle with power, X15, and <laughs> wow, okay. Once we got the trigger on the stack, it was too late for our opponent to disrupt, and that's how it's possible to go infinite and win a match with uh, with Teferi. Okay, that was, that was pretty sweet. It was sweet to see how we could win even through the removal spell. I didn't catch it at first, but yeah, the trigger's already on the stack, so we just get to keep doing our thing, even with Teferi gone. Whoo, sweet, 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 sweet. So what did we learn this week about infinite to fairy combo in our new standard format and overall record wise we went two and three so 40 percent win percentage not like super duper competitive for sure on the other hand all of our wins were because of the combo so we did manage to combo off i believe five times we got two match wins with the combo comboing twice and another random combo uh, so it wasn't actually that difficult five combos in five matches is actually like a pretty good rate so if you want to experience the joy of the combo it's not that hard to pull off. The problem is the combo is three pieces. All of the good pieces are four mana. Two of those pieces are legendary. So the deck can be really clunky. Like in our perfect world, we want to just like mana dork on turn two, combo piece, combo piece, combo piece, win the game. But when you consider removal encounters and draws not always being perfect, it gets a lot harder sometimes. But it was actually pretty sweet to be able to pull it off. And the end result was spectacular. We were able to get the huge crackle with powers, hit for 70 damage, could have hit for millions if the clock on arena wasn't
wasn't an issue. So the actual combo was really sweet. It's fun to pull off. We can go infinite in so many different ways. Thankfully, we didn't have to see all of them. Like, I can't imagine trying to win by making infinitely big creatures with Katilda in this deck or something. It would be really, really hard in digital. This is one of those decks that way easier to play in paper. In paper, you're like, hey, here's my combo, infinite life, I gotcha. Or here's my combo, infinitely big creatures, I got you. Draw my deck, I got you. On Arena, you gotta go through every step of the loop, which makes it a little bit clunky, but really, the deck was sweet. The deck is sweet, the combo is possible to pull off, but if you were worried about Teferi being the new dominant thing because of this combo in Standard, I don't think you have anything to worry about. It just takes too many pieces to have it be like a tier one deck, but is a fun, janky, under the radar deck. Infinite Teferi combo, I would suggest trying it out. If you got the wild cards, it is really expensive on Arena, but if you got the wild cards, try it out because winning this way is super hilarious and awesome. So that's been Infinite to Fairy Combo. That's been our Gets the Odds for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.